Hello, I'm Jeff Kelly with SUU Aviation. And for another video on trainer systems, I'd like to talk about the anti-skid control system or anti-skid braking system commonly found on larger aircraft. And behind me here is a tester for just that system. All right, so our common anti-skid braking system is, uh, is used on, on larger aircraft or aircraft that need to be able to stop relatively quickly. It's just like on your car, the anti-skid or the ABS system, they call it anti-skid on, on uh, aircraft. Um, so you have a master switch, typically in the, in, inside the aircraft, it'll be uh, automatically turned on when you, when you turn the aircraft on, or there might be a switch to turn it on. Um, you have a, a, a squat switch here. Squat switches are also called weight on wheel switches. So depending on where you're from or what aircraft you've worked on, but essentially it's telling it's a it's a switch that tells the aircraft whether it's in the ground or in the air and as soon as the aircraft touches down and the wheel touches down uh, the runway and compresses the strut that switch will engage and tell the system that it is now on the ground so you've got your squat switch you have normally in aircraft you have a, a mode that you can select whether you want it on or wh whether you want it off or to a reset and then this is just simulating whether the, uh, the gear is in the up position or the down position, uh, depending on what flight parameter you're trying to set up here. So that's just this guy here and the squat switch is just to set up your parameters so you can show students or, or others how this actually works. Moving off to the right here, just like in my last video, is a terminal bus bar with terminal ends. And they're numbered and lettered so that you can troubleshoot any problems that, say, an instructor would, would throw at you. Commonly found on every aircraft is an anti-skid control box. Anti-skid control box is, is in charge of measuring all inputs of the anti-skid system, the wheel speed sensors, because you'll have uh, wheel speed sensors so that it will tell whether one wheel is spinning faster than the other and that differential is all measured in here, plus braking pressure, plus hydraulic pressure, and the such. We have schematics on this particular tester. We have schematics that are on the tester itself rather than in the book that's included. So you can troubleshoot with a multimeter, a voltmeter, an ampmeter on, on here, and then you have a diagram, and the diagram itself shows uh, how the system works as far as fluid dynamics goes. You've got an anti-skid control valve here, or your solenoid valve, and your pressure restrictor valve, which is going to refine and restrict pressure down to its limits that is needed. You've got a pressure relief valve. Every hydraulic or oil system usually has a pressure relief valve that when it's not needed, it can unload or offload that pressure. We've got a drive down here, and this is just to drive the pump. So we've got a hydraulic pump. And then right over here, we have our aircraft tire. And so you can simulate it being on the ground or in the air by moving the ground to it. So there is a, a contact that's made underneath the tire. And I'll show you that here in a moment. And then lastly, over here is your brake control valve. Your brakes are on, on an aircraft that have brakes are typically the nose you have your rudder that goes left and right, and then typically your toes depressed on the on the uh, the rudders are the brakes itself. So here is the brake, and we'll simulate how the brake works on this particular system that is commonly used with aircraft that have anti-skid systems. So now that we have the system turned on, down below the tire is simulating the ground moving underneath the aircraft. Uh, it's a wheel and it will engage with the tire to simulate a landing. So if I wanted to land this thing, being a pilot, the first thing you would do is to drop your gear. So we dropped our gear down. And the next thing the pilot does is he's coming down for landing. And if, if it's a nice soft landing, is he going to engage? Or I'll engage this. 
now our tire's moving. We've just hit the runway. The wheel is spinning. You heard that chirp, just like you hear at aircraft uh, or uh, on runways or at airports. You'll hear that chirp a lot of times when an aircraft lands. That's it right there. When we get to a certain point and the aircraft and the weight of the aircraft starts to compress that strut down, it's going to engage the squat switch or the weight on wheel switch. So we've come down and now the strut's compressing. And now we've touched down, the strut's compressed. The whole weight of the aircraft is now on the wheels and tires and the strut that goes up into the aircraft. So now the, the aircraft itself, the system, and a skid control box senses that the aircraft is on the ground via the squat switch. We've got our system, our anti-skid system in normal braking. So if we're ready to brake and we've got to come to a, a pretty quick stop, anti-skid will help you do that faster. Just like in your car, ABS will help you stop faster in slick conditions. It's the same thing with this guy. So if you press on the brake, You can slow down the aircraft. If I switch on to anti-skid mode. So there's your anti-skid mode in action and normal braking and the differences between the both, between both. So skidding is uh, an undesirable condition when uh, your tire and the pavement or the tire, your tire and the runway are not matched in their rotation, i.e. your, uh, your sliding, your skidding, or your, um, uh, or you're out of control. And this keeps you in control, just like in your car with, uh, with an ABS system, it keeps uh, that, that rotation matched to the ground so your stopping power is greatly enhanced. Um, once you start skidding, uh, you lose an uh, incredible amount of traction and your braking power is uh, completely reduced. So that's it for this video on the anti-skid control system. If you like it, please subscribe, comment, and share. And as always, never quit, never give up, and fly it to the end.